I just wanted to tell you about a story, my story, a comeback story. I think the most beautiful, magical stories in the world are comeback stories. Um, I come online every day and post content videos and not many people know the story behind me and why I do it. So I thought it was important to come on and do a little video so people know what I've overcome and the fact that you can overcome your setbacks too. Um, I lost my dad um, at a young age, he was 55, he had lung cancer and he sadly was taken from us 13 months after a diagnosis um, and just watching him slowly losing life and knowing every day could be the day that he goes was heartbreaking because every day you knew this could be it, this, this could be the end. So I started grieving for him way before I lost him. Um, and then after I lost him, it, it just spiralled into a a terrible place. Um, I didn't leave the house. I didn't communicate with anybody. I didn't really eat. I just didn't want to be around anyone. I just wanted to, to go away and be alone and try and understand and deal with the feeling of losing him and never having him in my life again. I think we all expect parents to go at some point, but not so young and so drastically and so quick and I couldn't get my head around it and I thought I was always this strong bloke that could deal with anything and I never thought I'd be knocked down to my knees and feel that way um, so my way of dealing was it was silence and saying nothing and getting angry at the world and why and upset and I used to break into the cemetery through the hedge and just sit by his grave and tell him I was going to be with him soon um, I think when you when you lose someone that means everything to you so suddenly and you, you're not ready for it, it really has a f massive effect on you. And it sent me into a bad place, into a horrible place where I didn't want to wake up in the morning. Um, I wished days away. I had no enjoyment out of life. I didn't smile. I didn't talk to my friends anymore because I didn't know what to say. I didn't know how to communicate with them and what to tell them and how to explain the way I was feeling so I thought if I say nothing it'll eventually pass and no one will ever know and I won't get treated any different um it was a big thing for me that but it got to a point where I had to say something I had to reach out I had to talk to somebody and I did I got counseling I got some counseling I didn't go down the method of tablets I was offered tablets I was prescribed them but I never took them I remember I actually took one and then I threw the packet away because I thought no I want to find out how I can get better by talking to somebody. And I did. And, and it was a lady counsellor. So even more difficult for a bloke, I think, to, to be so vulnerable and open and lay the self bare. Um, but I did. And it, it, first few sessions, it upset me. I cried. And my biggest problem was accepting death. I couldn't accept death. Death for me was something I just couldn't get my head around. And the fact that we were gone forever and that was it and there was no coming back. But I managed to go for some more sessions, get myself feeling good again and feeling myself and accepting what had happened and I couldn't change it and it was out of my control. And then my mindset changed and I thought, well, I've got to fucking live life now. I've got to live the life my dad no longer has. I've got breath in my lungs when I wake up in the morning. I'm going to make the damn most of it. And I read his final letter and that was it. That was a catalyst for me to go and live life to the fullest to make decisions that made me happy, to be around people that lifted me up, not to waste time on bullshit and drama. And that's why I'm so driven now to move forward and not give a shit what people think. Because I think in the blink of an eye, anything in life can happen and we can be gone like that. Anything can can go wrong at any point on any given day and that's it, your lights are done and that is it. There's no coming back. So I just think I have to live life to the fullest. And in between the, losing him and now I've finished five London marathons and that was a, a focus for me to complete something to to give me something to strive for to give others hope that no matter how shit you feel how many days you spend crying how dark that cloud seems above your head good times are possible and good times will come again because that feeling isn't forever you'll never forget the person you love or the loss you've felt you find ways of coping and dealing and you find that to become a driver and I always said I would never let his death um, just be. Something positive had to come from it. So I was shopping today and um, uh, a guy I've never seen before come up to me and said, are you 
Are you, do you do videos on social media? I said, yes, mate. He said, can I have a selfie? And I thought, what, how my life has changed from never going out of the house, never communicating with anyone, accepting that I'll probably never smile again and never find happiness, to now there's people outside this, in the world who I don't even know who are taking comfort and positive energy and inspiration from the videos I'm putting out. So this is me talking to anybody that's having a, a dark moment today that anything is possible on any given day. Do not give up. Do not give up on yourself. I was in that place where somebody today is shit, just hating life, feeling shit all the time, never wanting to get up, never wanting to see anyone, never wanting to talk, struggling to eat because she didn't find any enjoyment in it. But let me tell you something, things get better. Things get better and there's nothing more beautiful than a comeback story where someone's been down and out and shit's hit the fan and you feel like you never want to wake up. Dark clouds just linger above your head forever. But let me tell you something, I'm not a weatherman, but what I do know is no storm, no dark cloud, no thunder, no rain can last forever. The sun will always shine again. It may just peek through the clouds. That's all you need. A little glint, a little shimmer of sunlight to say, ah, I want more of that shit. I want more of that shit. So whatever you're going through today, keep fucking going. Keep going. I'm telling you now from experience, you have got this. Don't hide away. Don't think no one wants to know. Don't think you're a burden. Talk to some fucker. Tell someone what you're going through. Get out for a walk. Get some fresh air in your gills. Don't sit in the house like I did, just looking at the four walls, expecting shit to change because it doesn't. You just play things over and over in your mind. You become trapped and it's a scary place to be. And any and every situation in this world, in your mind, anywhere can be turned around anytime at any given moment. And I'm not saying it's easy because it's not. You have days where you... You fall backwards a bit, but you've got to keep moving forward. Whatever you've got breath in your lungs, make the damn most of it. And I promise you now, no matter what you're feeling this moment, you will feel better. You will feel better. Surround yourself with some good people. I say it all the time. Who you surround yourself with is who you're going to become. Don't, don't try and fit in places. You don't get a size small hoodie and try and squeeze the fucker on and say, yeah, it fits. So you wouldn't do that in people that you have around you. Don't squeeze in and fit into places that just don't fit who you are, your morals, your values. It doesn't work. So listen to me today. Please keep moving forward. Keep going. Keep smiling. And I promise you, no matter what you're going through, you will get there. It takes time. It takes effort. It takes strength. It takes some good fucking people around you. But never give up on yourself. Because as much as sometimes them dark clouds just sit above your head, like I said, I'm no weatherman, but it cannot stay stormy forever. And the sun will always shine again. But believe in yourself. Have a wonderful day. And remember, comeback stories are just magically beautiful. And there's nothing better than seeing someone who's been at rock bottom just shine the fuck out again. Have a wonderful day. Cheers.